Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Today is for the ultra noob, which is going to be you because that's why you're watching this video. Don't worry, I'm noob too. It's okay. So all we're going to do is for a basic scene, we're going to draw, we're going to bring up a nice ground plane, a hard ground plane. And then it's actually really easy. And then we're going to bring in a first person character and we're going to bring some some um, rods around so you can go ahead and walk around and look at him and maybe some balls so it's pretty easy and we're not gonna take 50 hours to do one tutorial um, all you gotta do is go uh, import uh, characters this is for the ultra noob go ahead and import that and while we're waiting you can look at ethannormals.png if you want to look at that the MacBook is a little bit slow right now. Uh, it's, it's, um, I think it's time for a new one. So you can just go ahead and look at the beach ball. I'm just going to go ahead and move this beach ball around a little bit for you. As we're importing assets. And we'll just go ahead and make some designs. You can watch. It's very hypnotizing. And there we go. It's importing small assets. And... Did you see Ethan again? It's in there. So that's done. It only took about five hours. Now we just go ahead and bring... Um, well, first we'll just make a hard ground. So go to Game Object, Create 3D Object, a Cube. And if you double tap on Cube, it'll bring you to it. Or you can, if you're zoomed out, you can also hit F and it'll zoom in. Focus. And see how the position X, Y, and Z is all out here. There's two ways you can do that. You can go here to reset and zero, zero, zero. You should always bring your game objects and uh, bring them in at zero, zero, zero. It's good practice. If you don't want to do that, that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and just rename cube called hard ground. Make sure you hit enter because sometimes you don't hit enter. Uh, it won't take your new name for the game object. There's your hard ground. Go ahead and just resize that to 100. Leave the Y at 1 and Z at 100. Now you have your hard ground. And there you go. And if you're on a Mac, Alt Option and the button, you can go ahead and do that. You can zoom in and out using two fingers, swipe up and down. Okay. So now all you gotta do is bring in, um, since you imported this custom package, character package go to your first person controller it's so easy first person controller drag and drop it into the scene remember trick reset zero 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 double tap it's in the ground bring it up a little bit so he's not in the ground command p for play he'll drop down he's touching the ground now look look at that look at this you can already move around i'm moving around you can do that see it See how I'm looking around? Do you see this down here? There are two audio listeners in the scene. This is because there's a camera on FPS controller. Somewhere. No? Well, the reason why is because there's a main camera here. Delete that. And then I'll get rid of the error. The warning. See? Do you see it? It's gone. So first person controller. First person character. And there's a camera with the auto listener, audio listener. You can only have one audio listener ever in your entire life for the scene. Otherwise, it'll throw the warning. So now we're just going to go ahead and make a little bit of um, cover for this guy to hide on. Um, we'll put this, game object, create 3D object. And let's just go ahead and make a capsule. And see, we'll call this rod wall. And put this here. I'm gonna move it down, and make the X or sorry the Y about five. Six is about average. Bring it up. Um, so you want to rotate around the X uh, axis. Ninety. Sorry. Uh, there you go. And you just go ahead and set it down the ground a little bit. Just set it down. Bring it down, down, focus. Q is a shortcut for the pan. Now you can go ahead and pan around that. See how it's floating a little bit? It's because it's floating. 
That's okay for right now. You know what? If you want to bring the water, just go ahead and dumb it down. Because that's really... Whatever. Okay? You get the idea. Here's another trick. Very easy. Don't worry about saving it right now. Rod wall. Command D. And you should be on a Mac. And it'll automatically name it with a 1 after it. I like to put zero one 1 for my own practice. But whatever. See how it didn't save it? There you go. Duplicate. Boom. And uh, duplicate that again. Now you got Rod Walls Road 2. You can just go ahead and move it around. Remember, rotate E is the shortcut key for rotate. Go ahead and rotate around what? Y, 90. W, which doesn't work all the time, is a shortcut for uh, this guy. Now, there's too many rods. Well, you can, you know what, just leave that rod there. Duplicate that one again. And then we'll just go over here. Then game, game object create sphere. Make it about mm, 10, 10, 10. And then move it over here. It's, that's a big ball. But you get the idea. Command D, ball, ball, big. And then Command D, uh, ball, big. Uh, you know how it says that? Remember, I go 01 because it's better. Makes it easy to read, I think. Whatever. And that's pretty big. So you might need to scale your rod up a little bit. Um, make it 10. Make it 5. 5. Mm, drop. Command Z, undo. Touch the rod. Touch your big rod. And up a little bit. So there you go. Um, save this. Big rod. 01 and um, now hit command P to play and look around look for the big rod did you see it? I don't even see it where is it at? he's way over there There's, there is it. There is the ball. Go to the big ball. Look at that. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. So you have your your first scene. Pretty crazy. What well, you can create in only a matter of moments. This, this, as a matter of fact, don't worry about this, the camera clipping. This is going to be the best game ever. See? You can just go ahead and walk around the big ball and the rod. So. And then there's some, there's some more walls over here. You can jump. Space button. Space key. Uni has already done it for you. This is Uni 5. You don't need to bring in a skybox. It automatically has one for you. Colliders are working. Sorry about that. See that? There you go.